welcome to Aprons Off, the show where we kind of stop cooking and just hang out with each other, kind of like right now. We are doing that right now. Yeah. Right. Be clear. Yes. Uh, and yeah. today we are going to be trying each other's munchie meals. Now, yeah. these are the foods you eat when you're feeling a little wacky and feeling a little snacky. <laughs> but what makes you feel a little wacky? Just life, life and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we starting with? You. Oh, great. Okay, you, you guys for ready for yes. my munchie meal? Yes, I'm ready. Wow. Ah, boo! <laughs> are you cucumbers? It's green. It's green. Get the hell it's out green. of here. No, well, no, it's green. It matches my sweater. Don't knock it. V, tell us what's what's in this concoction. Basically, it's cucumbers that are pretty thick cut that I like to make like little chips. And then I put tahini, some green onions, some lime juice, and then I like to dip it in Greek yogurt. What are you, a 40 year old yogi? You're getting <laughs> the munchies and you're making cucumber? Yeah. I used to eat a lot of Cheez Its and just like really crappy snacks. So I was trying to be better now that I'm older, you know, because your body changes. Blah, Blah, blah. So now I switched it to cucumbers. It's you really want to try it? You, you start to get, you know, inflam <laughs> chronic inflammation is the thing you start to care about it's when like, you get older. It's for like all of you young water. people out there. It's water in a chip, but yeah, it got a little right. spice on it. Okay, then dip. Yeah. Okay. Then you dip. You, After eat you, it. Eat. Oh, you want me to do it first? I'm going to try plain. Okay. I would eat this plain. <laughs> oh, great. Huh. Great. Oh, it's delicious. God oh, damn. Oh, great. Mmm. That qualifies munchy territory, though. Absolutely. I will eat like eight bowls of this. Damn, wait, this is so good. <laughs> like, not that I haven't had cucumber yeah. with tahini on it before, but like, I don't think I've ever had straight cucumber with tahini on it before. Mm -hmm. I I'll have, have it in like fruit bowls, whatever. I have, and this is proper. I really do like it. It's like a hand salad. Like basically, when I was a kid, um, and when we used to go see the Fruta Man, right? of course, mm -hmm. I lovely, beautiful mm -hmm. streets of East LA where my grandma lived. Um, I would only order cucumbers, and then, you know, when I got older, I started switching it up. But this just makes me reminisce a lot, so I like just this. It's a good. Anytime I go to any, like, Latino street vendor, if that's Salvadoran, Pupusas, Champurado, whatever, and they ask me any question, I just say con todo. I say con todo, just with everything. Just put all, put the everything. chamoy on it, put the tamarino on it, put everything on it, give me all the fruits, give me the coconut. Yeah. You know, I'm in. But they don't have Greek yogurt on the side. That's see? true. Like you always, I know you especially have this in your fridge. So All the just, time. You know, make it a dip. All the time. Speaking of yogurt, <laughs> you guys ready for mine? You have yogurt too? Oh no. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> I thought More this yogurt. Was gonna be like deep fried pizza. Oh no, 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 no. no. This it's is a munchie meal. It's supposed to be quick. Yeah, it's supposed to be quick and it's supposed to be fast and it's supposed to be delicious. So okay. this is my munchie meal. As you can see, you can take your own bowl, lift it up, go ahead and look at the undercarriage of that bowl. We have like you a fine see. dining restaurant. We like the really. bottom of things. Can I tell you what this is? This is also yogurt, not Greek yogurt. This is mountain high plain yogurt. Ooh. You're not eating it right. You're not eating it yet. Right, wait, wait, wait. No, wait, I mean, wait, I tell me how to eat it. Put it down, put it down. I have, there's an explanation before you do things. Have you seen the show? Have you been on the show before? I want to eat your shit. Okay. <laughs> so what you do, you spice the yogurt. I put parsley, garlic, and cayenne in it. Ooh. And then I take plain Lay's potato chips, but you can do anything. And you you do you see a spoon on the side of you? Oh, I do Grab see Grab the spoon, spoon on the side. And what oh, you're you gonna do, like take the chips and break them into the yogurt like this. Oh, like wow. cereal! I was gonna say you're making cereal. This is basically cereal, and then and then you you do it nice and you get in there. Yeah, a little bit ritualistic, good. Yeah. And then you just uh, take a spoonful when you find a proper a proper trip to yogurt ratio. It just reminds me of like a non-healthy acai bowl. And this is exactly that. <laughs> Hell oh my yeah. god! So uh, that's great. I grew up eating chips and, and most most is uh, it's Farsi for yogurt, and this is like a thing. Now you guys oh are trying to. You put some khiar in there. <laughs> khiar. You put some khiar. That's khiar. right, Josh. Yeah. Some musir. No. You need some musir. Yeah. In musir here? is shallot. Very good, Josh. <laughs> you need some hot sauce. Some, yeah. some good Frank's Red Hot yeah. that you just dip, 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 dip you know in I there. I like the cayenne because Fine. I sometimes the hot sauce makes it too soupy, mm. and I like the thickness of the yogurt. I like soup. But yeah, you gotta spice it to your own preference. Mm -hmm. mm, so it's just pretty well spiced. Hear me out, hear me out. Oh my God, I'm gonna make this. <laughs> what if you just mash it into a paste and you kind of let it set overnight? Then you could fry it and make it into a latke. No, you put it on your bagel. Oh, damn. But you're the smartest person. <laughs> Mm -hmm. How often do you guys eat these things? Like, how often is this happening? I used to eat this a lot more when I was younger, but now it's more of a special occasion thing, maybe like once a month. Mm. Do you eat it hiding inside the fridge? Because that's how I see you eat it. <laughs> I used to. <laughs> now I don't she do thinks it. She's, it's like when a I child. don't hide anymore. <laughs> yeah. It's like uh, when somebody hides like yeah. behind a shower curtain in a horror movie, thinking that they can't see them, but their legs are sticking out. That's, that's like Nicole me. hiding behind the fridge door eating her munchies. I also do that with prosciutto. 
Prosciutto. Yeah, I hide do. my face in shit. Yeah. That's because you're hiding it from God. And I'll tell you, God is seeing through that French door, Nicole. God sees everything. Sorry, God. <laughs> so did you like I my snack? I nothing. This is it's great. Dude. This is dang Isn't it delicious? This is so good. Fan. I love it. It's good. More creamy things. Mm. Ugh. I can't eat a lot of it, though. I don't want to show you mine. Why not? Why? It's weird. Show us. Well, show weird. us. Show us. No, it's a weird snack. Oh, show <laughs> us. Yeah, no. Oh, wow. Well. Be kind to yourself. Brace so. yourselves yeah. for Josh's special lumps. Now, let me explain oh. to you. You might be wondering, uh, shouldn't you get those lumps checked out by a licensed dermatologist? No, I don't believe in going to the doctor. So <laughs> what we have here. Um, That's not good. He also doesn't wash his legs. <laughs> it's true. The soap runs down your body. Oh my God, no. And gets mess. on your legs. I don't need to wash you my are legs. You a human mess. Gravity is washing my legs. That's When's the last time either of you have smelled my legs? I don't, right? I don't need to. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's and not, you never my will. It's not appropriate and you never for the will. workplace. Okay. Josh's special lumps. Here's what I do is I take a bunch of chocolate chips and I microwave them. I take anything in my house. It could be pretzels. It could be breakfast cereal. It could be potato chips. It could be nuts. It could be dried fruits. My favorite combination ever is prunes, walnuts, and Lay's potato chips. Here we have that minus the prunes because I ate all the prunes because I enjoy them as a nice snack. And then you melt that and you put it out on a piece of parchment paper. You take a single banana slice and you shove it in just so it sticks. And then you put that in the refrigerator so it sets up. And then you have your own individualized bark with all of your favorite foods. I will say this only happens at the portion of the night where I'm the most desperate to get something sweet into my body. 3.15 a.m. <laughs> it's around there. It's around there. And I'm, I'm playing Rocket The witching League. hour. I'm playing exactly. Rocket League. <laughs> I am uh, in some state of intoxication to where I am losing ranks in Rocket League. I can't even see where the ball is going. And I'm waiting for these to cool. And these are Josh's special lumps. Okay. Uh, this is the only time I'm going to eat your lump. I hope you, it, you know that. It looks like a Pokemon. Do you love my lumps? My lumps? My lovely Josh's special lumps? <laughs> Do you? Check it out. Yeah. They're super lumpy. I mm. hate it. Why? Because <laughs> it's too chocolatey. We just like chocolate. Well, you can change the consistency of your lumps. I'm not trying to sell you on my special lumps. I'm trying to sell you on the concept of special lumps in general. If it was white chocolate, I would probably eat it. There we go. You need a white chocolate with Doritos in it for all I care. <laughs> but it makes my eyes do this. It's very sweet. When the lumps are so good that it makes your eyes cross, that's when you know you're doing good. <laughs> I don't know how to cross my eyes. Go. Do you know how to cross your eyes? Does that count? Are my eyes crossing? <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell. I don't know. Are my eyes crossed? <laughs> hey, look. Are my eyes crossed? You're just looking up. <laughs> you're not even trying. <laughs> You're eating only the bananas now. You See, you don't even think your own snack is good. Can you cross your eyes? I just wanted the bananas. Can you cross your eyes? Tell me my cucumbers, please. We ordered lunch from Gwyneth Paltrow's <laughs> restaurant today, and it wasn't enough, and now I'm hungry. Can you cross your eyes? Here, put your cucumbers. No, I can't cross your eyes. You guys out here with... <laughs> You're welcome. That was funny. Objectively speaking, if we had to rank them, <laughs> who do you think wins? And I think we need to take in taste, we need to take in form factor, and we need to take in munchy capabilities. Can we vote for ourselves? <laughs> yes. On three, everybody put your hands over your favorite dish. One, two, three. Mine. Damn. Okay, now you can't vote for yourself. Wait, to be fair, this with Nicole's chips <laughs> kind of slaps. Oh, but then try it on the lumps. <laughs> Ew, no, no, no. It's like it's like haunted tzatziki. Don't do it. It's like haunted tzatziki. Do it, do it. No, do I've it. already eaten a lot of this. This is a delight, man. So um, who's the winner? <laughs> Who do you all like? <laughs> Honestly, Nicole, I really like yours. I'm not I like lie. yours, V. I like yours. If it's not mine, it's V's. Yeah. So you go. You pick. So, yeah, Tiebreaker. Yeah, yeah. What? Tiebreaker. Oh, Nicole's easily. Yeah, oh, V. So. Yours is just like a vegetable to spice on it. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hardly a snack. No, no, Nicole, yours definitely wins. It's complex. It's got textural contrast in it. You know, you got the fried. Yeah. The carbs. That's what we get. It reminds me of like a fatouche. It's fun eating salad, things like you know? cereal that aren't really cereal. You say that, but you literally just ate. One of mine. I both of them together, and I like that. If you were to put one chip in a bowl covered in milk, and you think it had a chance to be successful, what chip would it be? Easy. Ooh. What? I need to think about it. Uh, <laughs> a baked easy, kettle think about it? Lay's chip. What? Baked kettles. Kettles. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> a kettle. <ba> <laughs> Sweet Maui onion. A Lay's baked chip original. 
Lay's original bake chip? Nobody Ew. likes Lay's original bake chip. Not a single person. Lay's doesn't so like funny. the bake chip. They're like a weird factory for sure. They only did that so they could get it in school so Michelle Obama would think it's okay. <laughs> is that why we had them? What? what? Is that why we had them in our vending machine? Yeah, the Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act. I actually think is a really great piece of legislation. It's just really tough that we can't actually get school lunches funded in America. I think Michelle Obama really did a great job trying to get Thanks, that. Obama. But then the implication, the you know, actual you. implementation of it was, was real rough. Her favorite vegetable is a sweet potato. Have you seen that video? No. She goes, sweet potato. Was that when she was on Can Sesame Street? Her? Is that a restaurant? Huh? Is Sesame Street a restaurant? Yeah. <laughs> it should be. <laughs> oh, hey, that's the bell. What does that mean? We Trevor has to dance. <laughs> Where's Trevor? He's going to do his funny dance. Trevor, come on. Come out here and do your funny dance. If somebody doesn't dance right now, this is how scary we're Josh is. Josh. If we don't he listen to what dance. he says, we're in trouble. That's my munchie dance. Okay. okay, okay. Now it's okay. time. Now it's time to answer some advice from one of our lovely commenters on our YouTube channel. You know that you can write advice and we will answer it. Please, write it. Please do it. And we'll, we'll give you advice. Okay, Pokemon Dude 5 says, my question is, why does my chicken come out dry and or rubbery every single time I cook it, no matter on what methods I use? What am I doing wrong? 30 seconds on the clock. Eat something else. Chicken sucks. It's so dry. What the hell? No. I think chicken's oh my dry God. all the time, to be honest. Give her a time. You know, Give unless it's time. like, like, I don't even crave chicken wings. Like, that's also dry to me. Like, it's I don't eat either. Or, or just burn it. I have my answer. Okay. Um, what you're going to do is next time you have a tough, crappy piece of chicken, you're going to put it in a in water or broth, and then you're going to put it in the oven at like 200, and then you're going to let it hang out in there for like 30 minutes, and then you're going to shred it, and then it's not going to be dry anymore. The only thing that matters in terms of chicken is the internal temperature, right? Like, that's the yeah. only thing creating dryness. Well, if it's rubbery every single time, no matter how you cook it, no matter what method you cook it, it's because the cooking method of chicken doesn't matter for juiciness. All that matters is the internal temperature. Get it exactly up to 150 degrees, pull it, let it come up to 155. You're never going to have dry chicken again. I cannot stress this enough. The only thing that matters in meat cookery, 99% is internal temperature. Don't eat it. Get as adventurous as you want in your kitchen with the Mythical Kitchen Merch Collection, available now at mythical.com.